Good day learners, this is Saki Iliama, a second year BS in English student of Negros Oriental State University, Shatan Campus. Welcome to the foundation of special and inclusive education class. For today's video, I will be discussing on the psychological basis of special and inclusive education. These are Piaget's cognitive development, Albert Bandura's social learning theory, Lev Vygotsky's scaffolding, and Jean Lave's situated learning theory. Now for the objectives, at the end of the lesson, we will be able to know the psychological basis of special and inclusive education, identify the theories and its initiator, and relate the psychological basis in teaching special and inclusive education. Psychology has greatly influenced the development of modern education. Basic connections and relationships between psychology and education are manifold. Educational theory and practice are conditioned by the nature of human behavior. What teachers do, how students learn, and how teachers can help students learn are the main influences of psychology in education. Starting up with the first psychological basis, which is Piaget's cognitive development. But first, let's know who is Jean Piaget. Jean William Fritz Piaget was a Swiss psychologist and genetic epistemologist. He is most famously known for his theory of cognitive development that looked at how children develop intellectually throughout the course of childhood. His theory of cognitive development suggests that children move four different stages of mental development. His theory focuses not only on understanding how children acquire knowledge, but also on understanding the nature of intelligence. Piaget's stages are sensory motor stage, birth to two years old, pre-operational stage, ages two to seven years old, concrete operational stage, ages seven to 11 years old, and formal operational stage, ages 12 and up. Yaji believed that children take an active role in the learning process, acting much like little scientists as they, as they perform experiments, make observations, and learn about the world. As kids interact with the world around them, they continually add new knowledge, build upon existing knowledge, and adapt previously held ideas to accommodate new information. To better understand some of the things that happen during cognitive development, the following are some of the factors that influence how children learn and grow. Schemas. A schema describes both mental and physical actions involved in understanding and knowing. Assimilation. The process of taking in new information into our already existing schemas. Accommodation. It involves modifying existing schemas or ideas as a result of new information or experiences. Piaget believed that all children try to strike a balance between assimilation and accommodation, which is achieved through a mechanism called equilibrium. Next is Bandura Social Learning Theory. Albert Bandura is an influential social cognitive psychologist who is perhaps best known for his social learning theory, the concept of self-efficacy, and his famous Bobo doll experiments. Social learning theory emphasizes the importance of observing, modeling, and imitating the behaviors, attitudes, and emotional reactions of others. Social learning theory considers how both environmental and cognitive factors interact to influence human learning and behavior. In social learning theory, Albert Bandura agrees with the behaviorist learning theories of classical conditioning and operant conditioning. However, he adds two important ideas. Mediating processes occur between stimuli and responses. Behavior is learned from the environment through the process of observational learning. SLT is often described as the bridge between traditional learning theory and the cognitive approach. This is because it focuses on how mental factors are involved in learning. The following are the four mediational processes proposed by Albert Bandura. Attention, retention, reproduction, and motivation. In observational learning, children observe the people around them behaving in various ways. 
one of his famous experiment is called Bobo Doll, which illustrates what children see, what children do. Lev Vygotsky's Scaffolding. Folding Lev Vygotsky was a seminal Russian psychologist who is best known for his social cultural theory. He believed that social interaction plays a critical role in children's learning. Vygotsky's scaffolding is a method of teaching that helps learners understand educational content by working with an educator or someone who has a better understanding of the material. To help learners achieve independence, Vygotsky outlined scaffolding as a tool for growth. Learners complete small, manageable steps in order to reach the goal. Working in collaboration with a skilled instructor or more knowledgeable peers helps students make connections between concepts. Lastly is Jean Lave Situated Learning. Jean Lave is Professor Emerita in the Department of Geography. She is a social anthropologist with a strong interest in social theory. Much of her ethnographically based research concentrates on the reconceiving of learning, learners, and everyday life in terms of social practice. The concept of situated learning theory is that learning occurs within authentic context, culture, and activity that it is widely unintentional. It promotes the idea that students learn better in collaborative group settings and when the activities are based on real-life experiences. There are three guidelines to effectively learn this theory. First is authentic context. Learning involves a setting that creates an authentic real-life context. The second one is peripheral practice or scaffolding. Students start at the periphery of the learning as a novice in the subject matter and instructors become more of a facilitator and provide scaffolding of the learning. Lastly is community of practice or collaboration. Students move from the periphery within the community of practice circle as they learn and collaborate with one another. That ends my discussion on psychological basis, learners, Always remember that today is a beautiful day to start a new day and a great opportunity to learn new things. Thank you so much for watching and listening. See you on my next discussion.